If you're someone who would like to get more clients, make more money and do it with less stress and effort, then you're in the right place. Because today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my favorite client attracting strategies. I'm going to be talking to you about using content, specifically content that converts. If you've already heard that content can help you get clients, but you're not consistently getting clients through using free content, there's a very good chance you're missing a couple of pieces and I'm gonna show them what you they are so you'll know by the end of this video what you need to correct. I'm also gonna show you the five big mistakes that I people see making and show you how you can transform that so you can get better results through your free content. And this is also a preview because in my paid program, Get Clients Make Money, which helps coaches and consultants get clients to make money, we're doing a deep dive into content that converts. So if this is resonating with you and you want to get further into having me work with you and help you create your client converting content, there's an opportunity to join us and I'll be explaining about that later on as well. First of all, in case we haven't connected much before, just to give you my background and why I'm authorized to speak on this subject, I've been using free content to attract clients for 25 years. And I think this is a key part of my success, both offline and online. And the reason that I started using free content was it was explained to me when I was starting out in business. Look, when you're a small business, you've got limited time, limited resources. You can't try to sell to everybody. Therefore, what you want to do is figure out quickly who are the people who are most likely to buy from you? Who are the ones most interested? And so the strategy that I was taught is called two-step marketing. And what it meant was I got myself in front of a potential audience and figured out where my potential audience was online, made myself visible and valuable to them, and then in invited them to take the next step, which to start with, I was just offering people a free report. And then when people raised their hands, I was then able to focus my attention on following up with those people and converting that raised hand into paying business. Now, I've just given you the entire formula right there. I mean, that's basically been formula that I've been using in my business for 25 years. It absolutely works. And yet I still see people making so many mistakes with their free content. And I want to correct them in this video. Now, since then, I've gone on really to perfect this formula. I started out my online business. I started with one weekly email newsletter that just used to go out week after week without fail. And I used that to grow an audience and, and get a group of people following me who were interested and engaged with what I was offering. And then I could make offers to those people and it was very easy to fill my programs. I was regularly selling out my programs just by making offers to that audience who were already interested and invested and engaged with what I was offering. I then progressed to doing webinars and making offers at the end of my webinars, sometimes selling products of a thousand or two thousand dollars. So I know how to construct a webinar that sells. I've used videos to make sales. I've used Facebook Lives to make sales. So I've used content that converts across all parts of my business. And I'm so passionate about it because it's such a game changer. Because when you really know how to create content that converts, this is a way that you can rapidly reach a much bigger audience and basically, you know, start to share more value with the people who really want and need what you have to offer. And it's a way to do it without it always having to be sucking up hours of your time. So there's a way to leverage and scale this very fast but it all starts with having those core pieces of content that convert. And so we're gonna start there today. Before we go any further, I just wanna put inside of your brain a key money-making formula. I wanna make sure that you understand why money changes hands. Why do people buy anything? Money changes hands because there is an exchange of value. Anything you've ever bought, anything anyone's ever bought from you, the buyer perceives that the value that they will receive in exchange for their money is greater than the value of that money. So that's that's why people buy. So what you want to get in your head is you want to be thinking always about creating value. People ask, oh, well, how can I make a million dollars? But actually the question you should be asking is like, how can I create more than a million dollars worth of value so that I can ask to be paid that in exchange? Just it's a slightly different tweak on the thinking. If you think about value, the money will follow. So think about how you're adding value, how you're creating value. So this is a formula that's at the basis of everything I do. I call it the 3M formula. And it's basically you make money by adding more value value to more people more often. Have value to offer, show it to more people, share it with more people, you get paid more, do that more frequently, you get paid more frequently. That's the formula to keep in mind. So where does free content fit into all of that? Free content is about the value that you're offering out to your audience before they become paying clients. That's how you want to think about it. So it's the value that you're offering before they pay you. And so 
when you know how to do this in the right way, this, there's so many benefits that can come from this. So as I've just explained how I was using free content in my business, that two-step method, I was able to use free content essentially to generate leads. So that's one simple way that you can use free content. But the other thing with free content is it really does position you. It gives you an opportunity to showcase your expertise, perhaps talk about things in a way that people can see that you're different, that your approach is slightly different. And so it really does position your authority and your expertise. The other thing that you can do with free content is it gives you a chance to inject your personality. People buy people. People will buy when they know, like, and trust you. So when people can see a little bit of your personality, your style, they can go, oh yeah, I resonate with that person. I like that. They are more likely to buy. So all of those are ways free content can help you. The other thing that free content does is it sets up an expectation of the value that's on offer inside of your paid program. When you are offering content that solves problems for people, even if they don't buy from you. So it solves a problem, gives them a new way of thinking about something, answers a question, gives them a tactic. They're starting to associate you with getting value. And it's not too long before they think, well, you know, if I've received all this value and I haven't actually paid her yet, I wonder what would happen inside of her paid offerings. It really enables you to set up the value that's the other side of the free line. Now, here are some stats though. Content marketing brings in three times as many leads as traditional marketing and cost 62% less. So I just want you to think about this for a moment. So think about your business last month. How many leads did you bring into your business and how many of those turned into sales? What would happen if we had three times the number of leads that came into your business last month? You probably would have tripled your sales, right? So just think about that for a moment. That means if your business brought in 3,000 last month, that by tripling the leads, that you could make 9,000 a month. Just one thing to focus on that could triple your business. That's how powerful content marketing is. The value of that is 6,000 just over a month. If your figures are lower, maybe you're not even converting yet. That's a slightly other issue, but I'm gonna be able to help you with that with what I share here with your content. Now, this figure, when I saw it, just blew me away. 61% of online purchases are a direct result of a customer reading a blog. If you hear that and you're saying, but Bernadette, I'm blogging all the time and I'm not getting customers. Again, it's because there are things that are missing in how you're using your free content to create sales. But just, I want you to understand just the power of this for a moment. This means like, blogging consistently, or, or it doesn't always have to be a blog, it could be another type of free content, like a video or even a podcast, but putting out consistent content basically helps sales. Like that's a fact. The other thing that's been noticed is that the more frequently you put out your content, the better results. So companies that publish 16 plus pieces of content typically get three and a half times more traffic than people that just put out for a month or fewer. Now, in case you go running screaming from the screen and you're like, but Bernadette, I can't possibly put out that content. That's because you don't know how to leverage and repurpose and systematize your content distribution yet. And I'm gonna be explaining how you can do that a little bit later in this video. So I just wanted to show you just why content can be so powerful to help you attract clients when you're using it in the right way. With no further ado, let's talk about some of the mistakes that I see people make. So mistake number one is not putting out content, okay? I've just shown you with those examples and with those statistics, just how powerful content can be. And yet still people are in a situation where they're not putting content. They don't have a proper content marketing strategy in their business, despite the fact they can be a game changer for helping you to attract clients consistently. The first reason is not understanding why, and hopefully I've just corrected that with what I've shared with you. But chances are these two reasons or both of them may also have stopped you from putting out content consistently. The next thing I hear people say is time. And I don't have time. Just spoke to someone earlier today who said, I've been so busy delivering to my paying clients. My content has just fallen by the wayside. I haven't been putting it out consistently. I get it, right? Time can be a challenge for everybody. I'm a single mum. I'm going to business, raising my two kids on my own. I've done it. I totally get the time objection. I do. But there's a difference between having time and making time. And here's the thing. I've just shown you that having a proper content marketing strategy in place has the power to triple your business. Just think about that for a second. So given that, is it worth carving out a couple of hours every week? week to do that? Is it worth exchanging two to three hours of your time to triple your business? Look at your sales results over the last year. Would you like to triple them this year? Are you willing to dedicate two or three hours a week? That's basically what it is. If the answer is yes, and I'm sure it would be, that just means you need to get your calendar out and you need to start making an appointment with yourself every week, which is your content time. It's going to be the time you either create your content or you're distributing your content. That's content time that's going to be golden time on your calendar every single week. Now, another reason why people 
people don't make the time to put out content is because underneath it, there's a confidence issue. And I hear this who people will say, well, I don't know if I've really got anything valuable to offer, to say. I don't know what can I say that hasn't already been said already. Like, why would people listen to me? I'm not really an expert. I don't know if I'm qualified to start telling people how to do this. So these are all underlying confidence issues where you're doubting the value you have to offer. So if you can relate to that, I want you to know this. Just a few clicks away from you, there is someone who is online right now who could be your next paying client. You have something to offer them. You've got value to offer because they are struggling with a problem that you've already figured out an answer to, or there's a goal that they want to achieve that you've already achieved and you know how to do. And don't think that this has to be groundbreaking things like making a million dollars in business or running a marathon or losing a hundred pounds. It doesn't have to be extreme things. Value can come in many shapes or forms. One of my early mentors, Dan Kennedy, used to say, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. So you have value to offer. There is no one else like you on the earth. No one else with your complete package of past experiences, skills, talents, expertise, desires, even the stuff in your life that you regret, the mistakes you've made, they've all shaped you into being someone right now who has value to offer the world. So the question is this, what are you going to make more important? Are you going to make serving that person who could be your next paying client, are you going to make connecting with them and serving them more or less important than your fears? Because basically if you are hiding under a rock or, or you know focused on I can't do this, what will they think? That's basically what you're doing. You're making your fears more important than the other person. And I'm not saying that to shame you, truly I'm not. I know just how terrifying it can be to step up into the unknown. I've had to do it several times in my life, not just in business. So I really get it. What I'm saying is the fear is not a reason to stop. It really is about feeling the fear and taking the step, just taking the step that you can. Because if you start with just one step, one step today, it might just be commenting on a post online. You can literally start that small. You don't have to start off with Facebook lives, but just starting to consistently add content and add value in certain places, that can just be what gets you going, what builds your confidence and helps you to become more and more familiar with serving people through free content. So promise me, that's been one of the things that it stops you. Promise me you won't let it stop you anymore. Because bottom line is there are people out there that need your help and you are in a position to serve and get paid for serving them. If this is resonating, we're doing a deep dive into content that converts. And one of the things that I'm gonna be covering there is dealing with you know the confidence issues and where to start if you are terrified about making yourself visible. I've, I've broken it down to make it really easy to a starting point where you can start to grow your confidence and build it from there. The next mistake that people make is what I call spray and pray. <laughs> So this is putting out content, but there's no strategy, there's no consistency, it's random. You just get an idea, drops into your head and you post something and it's just like, it's just all over the place, right? All over the place means no results. And you know, maybe you've got a notebook full of ideas, but you haven't got around to actually like fleshing them out into specific posts or blog posts or whatever. So it's spray and pray, there's no consistency. If that's happening, what will happen is you'll start to tell yourself, oh, I'm doing content, but it's not working. But it's not that your content isn't working, it's that there's no underlying strategy. You actually haven't thought through, how do I make sure that I'm getting the right content in front of the right person at the right time? How am I doing that with my content? So if you can relate, will you please promise me that you'll make a commitment to a consistent posting schedule. And I'm going to say this, one piece of content that you do well weekly, you can build a six figure business with that. Now I know that may sound bold, especially like if you're spending all day on Facebook and you see all people posting, I want to help you get strategic about this. I promise you just one piece of content when you leverage it in the right way. And I'll be showing you later on how you can do that. That can help you create a six figure business. If you've been doing spray or pray, know that the answer is you need to get consistent. And if you want help with this, as I say, we will be doing it and get clients to make money. Here is the next mistake or problem that I see people have with their content. Putting out content consistently, but it's getting crickets. So you're putting things out, but no engagement, you're not getting people inboxing you and asking to find out more. And because of that, you're feeling unsure. You're starting to question, well, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe there's something wrong with my content. Maybe I'm talking to the right audience. And so just a lot of doubt that really gets in the way of you taking kind of bold, 
bold, purposeful action to connect with your ideal audience. So if you have experienced this, I want to offer you something. If you've been putting out your content on social media or even online, maybe you've been publishing a blog, you can have fantastic content. But if nobody's seeing that content, then it's not going to produce inquiries or buyers. I had a client called Lisa and she was putting out content consistently. She was doing a post every single day. And she came to me and she was like really stressing out because she just didn't understand what she was going wrong. She's like, I'm putting a lot of work effort into this. And I really, you know, thought it would be connecting with my audience. But the thing is, I'm not making sales, Bernadette. So I said, let's just have a look and see what's happening. We looked at the insights. We looked at how many people were actually seeing her posts. And when we looked at how many people were actually seeing her posts, it was a tiny, tiny audience. So she had a Facebook group, but it was like only a tiny percentage of her Facebook group were even seeing her posts. But when we looked at the engagement on her posts, like how people were responding and liking it, she was getting good engagement. And I said, you do not have a quality problem with your content. Like people love your content. You just need more eyeballs on your content. Now think about that for a moment because she didn't know how to diagnose what was going on. She was making assumptions about her content that people didn't like it or it wasn't working. But actually her content was great. What she just needed to do was make sure that more people were seeing it. So we put some things in place so she could get more eyeballs on her content inside of her Facebook group and also starting to publish her content outside of her Facebook group so she could reach a bigger audience. Here's what happened. Within the next week, she made a 5K sale and she went on to make two 5K sales that month. This is how powerful this can be. When you're using content in the right way, it really can drive sales dramatically. And so there's a very good chance that if you've been putting content out, but it's not getting engagement, it comes down to two reasons. Either you're not reaching enough people or you are reaching enough people, but there's something off in the messaging. The good news is either of these things can be fixed. We're going to be doing a deep dive onto this in to get clients to make money. And if you can relate to this, I'm going to help you diagnose exactly what the problem is. Do you need more eyeballs or do you need to change the messaging? So let's just do one thing at a time. Let's make sure we're focused on the right thing. And then from that, when you are linking that to conversion, you can quickly generate sales from this. That brings me on to the fourth mistake that I see people make. This one is where you're putting out content and you're getting engagement, but you're not making sales from it. So you're putting out content and you're getting loads of likes, Perhaps your content is even being shared. People are commenting on your content, but you're just not making sales from it. If you can relate, it's very frustrating to be in this situation because you're like, well, I got all these fans, but I can't take the fans to the bank. You know, I can't go and pay my mortgage on fans. So if you can relate, no, this is actually a really good sign. Like if you've got this far with your content, seriously, you're just inches away from getting paid because you've already done so many of the hard steps with your content. You've figured out how to get out there consistently. You've overcome any fears or doubts that you might have about sharing content. Clearly people are liking your content. The piece that is missing at this moment is you don't know how to convert that interest into paying business. And so there are some key things that you can do. I call it engaging the engagers to engage with people who are liking your content, not in a a pushy salesy way, but a really nice way to further that relationship and help nudge them down the, the sales process. If you're not doing that, if you don't have your conversion mechanism in place, then you're just gonna get more of this. You're just gonna get more likes and no sales. So there's just that little piece of conversion that's been missing. What this really comes down to is about making sure that you're getting the right message in front of the right person at the right time. If you think of all of your audience, so you think like the people who are closest to you are paying clients. So those are the people who are closest, like they are in your inner circle. The next people outside of that might be people who know, like, and trust you. So perhaps they've been reading your posts for a while. They know you, they've they've consumed a piece of your stuff. They've watched your videos, whatever your content is putting out, they consume it, they like it, they know you. Those people are probably just a nudge away from becoming a paying client. Whereas someone who's further out in their relationship, a complete stranger who's never heard from you, they're not going to relate to the same content as someone that knows, like, and trusts you. So what you want to do is map out your content so that you have content to meet your potential audience at every stage of the journey. So the objective of a piece of content from someone who is a complete stranger, you're not going to try to sell to them on your first connection. You're not going to say, hey, here's why you should buy my program. Your content that you would put in front of them is much more about just getting their attention. It's just getting them to look. And then once they've looked, the next thing you might want to do is to get them to engage or get them to raise their hand to, you know, offer you their email address in in exchange for something more. Now at this point, you can maybe start to further the sale by talking to them about what their problems are and how your solution solves those problems. And then eventually, you know, you might show them testimonials or examples of case studies of people who've used your solution to get results. And then eventually you might have the ejection hand
understanding content that shows them why the objection that's preventing them from saying yes to the next step with you, why they don't need to worry about that and, and what you can offer instead. So that, I've done it very, very quickly here. I've just kind of blasted through it, but it really is about making sure that you have content to match your potential audience at every stage of the journey and then making sure that you set this up so that it gets in front of them at the right time. Now, I know that sounds complicated and that you might think, oh, I need a whole complicated funnel. You don't. Remember what I said earlier? You can do this with as little as one piece of content going out every week. You can start this process just with that one piece of content and doing that right and then you can build out that conversion system as you go. But it all starts with getting that one core piece of content. If this is resonating and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I can see that. If I had that content conversion system in place, that would really make a difference in my business. You should absolutely come and check out Get Clients Make Money because you will get the opportunity. I will personally coach you on creating this. I'll be able to help you brainstorm it, be able to pull on my expertise of doing this over and over in my own business over the years. I've helped several clients to do it and I can help you too. And it's so important to make sure that you've got that proper conversion method. Don't assume that you can just put content in front of people and it magically create buyers. No more than you could take someone who's never been trained in sales and go and send them into a group of customers and go, right, go and sell. If they don't understand how to sell, if they don't know how to overcome objections and close the sale, they're not going to make sales. So you're sending your content to go and do that for you, but your free content isn't equipped to do that unless you have like deliberately and strategically baked in those elements to your content. So it's very important that you have a proper content strategy in place to meet people where they're at and meet them at every stage of the journey to convert that interest into paying business. Exciting, huh? And then this is where it gets even more exciting. So I'm going to talk about the fifth mistake. What I've just shared there, the answer to mistake month number four is like you're putting out content, it's getting engagement, but people aren't buying. The answer to that is you have a conversion system in place. But one of the things that stops people putting that in place is the idea, well, what if I have to be there all the time? What if I have to be on Facebook Live constantly? Or I have to be on Facebook constantly and I have to be posting and I have to be engaging with people, I have to be doing all of this stuff. Well, you don't want to do that because then basically where's the ease or the lack of stress and effort? I promise at the start of this video with that. You know, you've just basically created another job for yourself. That's not it. What the final mistake that people make is that using content, but without smart use of leverage or systems. Systems are what can make sure that your content is getting in front of the right person at the right time. And you can set this up also with automation can make sure that the right content is getting in front of the right person at the right time. And so that is the final piece. Once you've actually figured out what is the messages that my audience needs to see at every stage of the journey, to initially just get that initial attention and then turn them into a paying client or customer. Once you know what that is, that's when you can automate it. What this will do is it will save so much of your time and it will mean you can be reaching audiences and adding value while you sleep. Do you remember right at the beginning of this video, I said that making money is about adding more value to more people more often. So what you can do with that one core piece of content that I talked about that you can create every week, there is a way that you can repurpose that and you can redistribute it across across multiple platforms and you can do that in a way that that's automated so that your content, the content that you created once is doing the work over and over and over and over for you so that you can get paid, 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 paid by that content. This might sound like it'll take some time to get to and yes, there is some work to do in terms of like really figuring out who your audience is, figuring out what it is that they really want to hear. There's also what I haven't gone into in this video is like how to structure that content and I'm actually going to be back next week and I'll be talking to you more about that. But the five mistakes that you're making with your content right now, if you can recognize any of those mistakes and you know that this is something you're committed to changing, then I urge you to come and check out Get Clients Make Money because not only do I have so much other content for you on helping you to get clients, you're going to come in with real clarity about what your content marketing strategy is. You'll have made some big decisions about what your core piece of content is going to be. Is it going to be a blog or a podcast or a video or a Facebook Live? What's it going to be? So that you are committed to putting out your consistent content. I'm going to show you how to structure the inside of that content so that you generate sales from it. I'm then going to show you how to make sure that you're putting the right content in front of the right audience at the right time. And then I'm going to show you how to use systems and automation in order to make sure that that's happening. So you're just focusing on serving your clients. You're just focusing on the value that you create once a week. And then you're able to turn that into basically a client attracting machine that's out working for you all the time, whether you're working with clients or whether you're resting. Let's just do a quick recap. I shared with you the money making formula to make 
make money, you have to add more value to more people more often. Free content is a phenomenal way to do that. It's a way of serving people ahead of time, ahead of them paying you. And it's a way of positioning yourself and reaching an audience, generating leads, and then converting that interest into paying business. It's so crucial that you get the right content in front of the right audience at the right time. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this inside of Get Clients Make Money. The link to come and join us there is bernadettedoyle.com forward slash get clients. I'll also add a link to that below. But if you take nothing from this video, please let it be this. Do not put out any content without having a conversion plan. You need to think through before you press go live or publish or send, what you wanna be thinking is like, what is my plan? What is my conversion plan for first attracting interest and then turning that interest into paying business? And where does this piece of content fit inside of this plan? And what that means is that you will then be creating content deliberately and content that you create now that but will pay you for life because you're literally building a content converting system that basically will start to do the heavy lifting for you. Will actually find potential buyers, attract those buyers in, and even convert those buyers. And that is a very, very, very beautiful thing. So if you would like me to help you create this, do come and check out bernadettedoyle.com forward slash get clients. Would love to see you inside of Get Clients Make Money. We're doing a deep dive on this and you get a full year of coaching in the program also. So you can learn all about that over on Bernadette Doyle Get Clients. And I will also be back next week because I'm gonna do a deeper dive next week on how you can structure your content and what needs to be happen, what are the seven parts of your converting content plan. I hope you like this leave me a comment below to let me know your thoughts come and check out get clients make money other than that i shall see you next week take care